It's Friday, everybody, and we are here with your ab workout for the week. I, if you have seen our previous videos, I did mention that I was going to start structuring some of these uh, body weight workouts to be focusing on legs, upper body, and abs. So Friday is going to be our unofficial ab day. So today we are going to be working on a pretty extensive uh, workout here. I do have a couple other cardio movements thrown in here to kind of break things up. But we're going to start out with three rounds. Um, if three rounds is too intimidating for you, run through it once, kind of see how you feel. And if you feel like hitting a second one and a third one, go for it. So we're going to start with a plank walk. So we're going to be getting into a plank position. <laughs> Take your time. It's OK, Betty. We're going to be doing five to the right and then five to the left. So we're just going to be marching our feet and our hands out to each side, five to one side, five to the other side. Then we're gonna be hopping on our sides and we have eight and eight, so eight per side. We're gonna be doing knees to elbows and toes to hands. The I don't know. Then we're gonna move into an alternating bird dog. We haven't done this movement yet, but this is gonna be on your hands and knees. And then you're going to be doing your uh, opposite arm and opposite leg. Make sure you are tightening your core as you do this or you're going to perform a jake. <laughs> so we're going to break up these three movements and do 30 high knees. Get your heart rate moving a little bit, get you stretched out. <laughs> and then we're going to go back into a plank movement. So we're going to have five and five plank marches. It's going to be five per leg. So we're going to get back into that plank position. And you're gonna be alternating legs. You're gonna be kicking one up at a time. Make sure you're squeezing that glute, tightening your core. And this is supposed to be a slow, controlled movement. Next, we're gonna move into alternating heel touches. So we're gonna be laying down on our back. We're gonna be bending our knees and alternating one hand to, your, to the uh, same side heel <laughs> as Jamie's demonstrating. <clears throat> If you can get a partner to do this with, it's way more fun, distracting, and you probably might not even finish the workout. <laughs> so then we're going to have a side plank with a toe touch. This is also a new movement that we haven't done in the past. We're going to get into a side plank position, whether that's on your elbow or your hand. And we're going to be pulling our top leg into our hand and touching our toes, just like Jake's demonstrating there. This is <laughs> touching our toes, yes. <laughs> Requires a lot of balance, so make sure we are doing a slow, controlled movement, focusing on what we're doing and always tightening that core. <clears throat> then we're going to move into 30 lateral hops or plate taps, whatever you have at your disposal. This again is going to get that heart rate up, kind of break up the movements, get you stretched out, let you do something. Our last set of three movements, we're going to move into side plank hip dips. So again, we're going to get back into that side plank position, whether that's on your elbow or your hand. And this is five per side. You can reach up with your opposite hand if you need to. You can put that hand on your hip. <laughs> As you can see, these are very difficult movements. So if this is something that you're struggling with, do not get discouraged from it. Take your time, work on the movement, and if you need to scale, we have also provided those options in previous videos for you guys as well. So if that's something that you need to talk to any of us about, if that's something that you're struggling with or you just want something different to do, you're getting discouraged, I don't want you to quit and give up on this. So reach out to any one of us and we're more than happy to help you guys out with anything that you need on this one. Two last movements we have here for you are the V-sit. This is gonna be for 30 seconds. So we've done V-ups in the past. Basically, you're going to get into that position when you're at the top of your V-up and hold it for 30 seconds. And lastly, we're going to have five windshield wipers. This is gonna be on your back with your arms out, palms down. And we're gonna be do going from side to side. So one side all the way over to the other side is one whole movement. And to finish this one up, we are going to have 20 burpees to get you guys moving one more time. <laughs> Thanks, Jake. <laughs> And if you're feeling up for it, try and run through this one more time or a second time if you guys are able to. I hope you enjoy this workout. Let us know how it goes for you. Here at First Response Fitness, we are certified paramedics and not coaches or trainers. All exercises we present are shared from what we've learned in our fitness journeys. If you ask us about any medical symptoms, our advice will uniformly be that you are dying. Unless you pay us, in which case we will advise you that you are dying slower than others. If you would like to continue dying slower than everyone else, please use our community to help take control of your health and fitness. Always remember you being at your own risk. Proper stretching is encouraged and beware of excessive vagaling.